It's the item clothing that's seen least often, but it shouldn't be neglected. I'm Tom Ford, and these are my three rules of underwear. Rule one, you can never have too many pairs. A well-stocked underwear drawer is a necessity of modern life. I like to keep a selection of underwear in a few different colors and materials for any occasion. Rule two, choose carefully. Briefs work best under well-fitted clothes, but be careful that they're not too tight. You don't want a visible line under your clothing. Jersey boxers are a safer bet for this as the longer leg clears the bottom of your backside. But of course, they shouldn't be too loose either as you don't want bunched up material ruining the line of your trousers. Woven boxers are a comfortable alternative to jersey and are best worn under thicker fabrics and looser fitting clothes. Silk is a luxurious choice and makes for fantastic sleepwear. Rule three, don't be afraid to take risks. If you know you're going to be seen in your underwear, why not make an effort? There are times when you should play it safe and others when you should take more of a risk. Just make sure that you choose something that fits well and flatters your body shape. It's not about changing the way you look. It's about being the best version of yourself. I'm Tom Ford, and these are my three rules of grooming. Rule one, take care of your skin. Notice where it is dry and where it is not. Always exfoliate with a fine muslin cloth and a good cleanser like my purifying face cleanser. And make sure that you wash your face not only in the morning, but before bed. Moisturize while your face is still slightly damp with a good moisturizer and wear sunscreen whenever you're out in the sun. Cover any blemishes with a light concealer and to give your skin a healthy glow, use my bronzing gel to the areas of your face that would normally get a bit of sun. Rule two, perfect your stubble. Carefully maintained stubble is one of the fundamentals of masculine beauty. A beard can enhance the strength of your jaw if trimmed properly. I use a trimmer every few days to keep mine at a specific length, and I always trim my beard underneath my jaw where the jaw meets the neck and condition it with my beard oil. Rule three, take care of your brows. A strong, well cared for brow makes a huge difference in the way you look. I like to keep my brows neat and brushed up in the right direction and I use a brow gel for this. I prefer a tweezer and careful plucking if your brows need taming. But don't overdo it. Your brows should never look overly shaped. I'm Tom Ford, and these are my personal thoughts on style. First, relax. Style and fashion should enhance your life and not cause you more stress. Breathe. Meditate. Find something that works for you and helps to clear your head, and then everything will seem easier. A good white poplin shirt is something that every man should have a few of in his closet. I like the crispness of a white shirt worn with a dark suit. It always looks good, and somehow the pop of white makes me feel sharper. I personally always wear a collar bar with a suit and a tie. 
It's a bit of a style affectation that makes me feel less conservative in a suit. I think that all men should own a beautifully cut black suit. Quite a few suits today are slim fit with skinny lapels, and the worst thing of all is the short jacket that cuts your butt in half from the back. I don't like an unconstructed suit. I prefer to be gently held in. I like a strong shoulder and a generous lapel. I think a suit should make you feel younger and trimmer. It should make your shoulders look broad and your waist and hips look smaller. There's nothing sexier or more attractive than confidence, and a good suit should give you that. I have two looks, really. An urban look, which is almost always a black suit and black boots, and then a country look, which is usually in tones of dark brown. I love this dark brown suede jacket. It's a classic and will last you forever, provided you don't gain weight. Night is the one and only place that I think men can really dress in an extravagant way and still look classic and chic. I even wear velvet in the summer. Nothing takes color as well or looks so rich. I tend to like the classic rules of traditional menswear, and I think these are even more important for evening. Wear a proper tuxedo. I think being overdressed is better than being underdressed. Don't be afraid of fragrance. I tend to spray on lots and lots of fragrance, and I mix them throughout the day. Needless to say that in my office and my house, there's a bottle of fragrance just about every 20 feet. And by the end of the day, I'm like a walking potpourri. Just choose a great fragrance, and no one will complain that you have too much on. Rather, they will want to get near your neck and take a deep breath, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who you're with. The way you smell can make as much of an impression, if not more, than the way you look. I'm Tom Ford, and these are my three rules of fragrance. Rule one, perfect your method. Every time I see that silly thing of spraying the fragrance in the air and then moving through it, I laugh. My method is to wear a lot of fragrance. Many people think that you should apply fragrance lightly. Why? If you have a scent that you love, why not be generous with it? Why smell only a little bit good when you can smell great? I also spray different fragrances on at different times of the day. And I always spray on a bit of fragrance before I go to bed. I find it enormously relaxing after a tough day. Rule two, choose your intensity. Even a small drop of Eau de Parfum can offer intense fragrance. For times when I want a more subtle scent, an Eau de Toilette can be sufficient, or even a fragrance-infused soap. Rule three, play to your mood. I like to keep a selection of fragrances for different moods. A rich, woody scent like my private blend Fougère Platine gives me confidence and makes me feel assured. For summer vacations, I choose a lighter citrus fragrance, such as Mandarino di Amalfi. And when I'm feeling fabulous, well, I've got a fragrance for that too.